shot. Now you're starting to get to picture. Here's your tail piece. This piece is going to slide right into here. Like so. And we'll, uh, there's screws on the side here. Let me show you. On the drill, you want to loosen these screws up in these little housings. Right here, right here, right here, right here. That'll open this up a little bit. You slide your pipe up in there, and part of the coupler will get up in there too. And then you tighten these back down. That's going to hold it pretty tight. That will probably be good enough. But I'm going to come back and zip a couple of two inch screws right through this, right directly into the PVC, just to reassure that nothing's going to happen. So, with that said, I'll go ahead and put the rest of it back together and uh, we'll see what she looks like up and done. Okay, she's back together. Uh, last thing, the blades. You notice that little scooter wheel there spinning around? She's in a prop. Now, some people ask me, do these make power? The answer is no. Not these ones. But, very simply, you could make a stator and stick it right on the back and shove some neodymium magnets in here by boring out and sticking them in place. Uh, you'd probably get a nice little uh, turbine. Um, they're extremely fast, these smaller blades, so I would imagine you can make a lot of power. Another thing to note, you could also, and I have done this, but I have less sense taking it down, not for any specific reason. I had just taken the turbine down and decided to take it apart. But, on the tail, you could easily fit a few solar cells in series on here and then run your wires right back down through the tail. Well, you never see that done, but it's wasted space. You could also line solar cells on your tower, like I do over there, but... Anywho, back to what we're doing. You take your scooter wheel and you find directly across and then you pre-drill a couple of holes for your uh, blades to go into. And when it's all done, you get something like this. Now you can take a screwdriver and just stick it on there, or whatever. Everybody has their own method. And check it for level. And if it's not level, which this one is coming back around. She's fairly level. I kind of balanced it already, just trying to hurry up and get it get it going, but all I do is I zip a screw at the end, if you can see that, and I put washers on the back side, and I just add washers of different weights until I get it balanced. It's a lot quicker and uh, easier in my, my head, anyways, to uh, get the blade balanced and shaving and shaving and shaving until you get it right. But, you know, to each his own. So then we're going to take a bolt, leave three eighths, might be half inch, just slide it right in there. Now you'll notice it's pivots because of the bearing inside. Then we need a little something on the back side. Let's see, we need another little washer here. And it'll probably do. Flip it around the other way. Now all we're gonna do is <coughs> insert A into B, like so. Push down on your bolt, tighten your chuck. And get a wrench on it, whatever. Let's see what this baby will do. Don't have any wind right now, so we're either going to have to wait or I'm going to have to whip out the blower, waste some electricity. But we'll see what time tells. West Coast Doug, next time you see it, I'll shut up and just watch it blow. We got a little bit of wind, but there she is. We might have two mile an hour winds right now if we're lucky. The blade was just a real quick cutout didn't really measure anything so I don't know the dimensions but it looks like she's gonna go pretty good it's got a pretty start nothing it's like no wind so I think that might be a keeper we might have to make a template for that one name her
the blade gets a name, she's a keeper. Well, not necessarily, because the fat boy blade ended up getting chucked in the can. Too much resistance. Well, there she is, folks. West Coast does. I'm out.